Hi everyone, oh, welcome back to part 4 on how to create an FPS game in Roblox. In this tutorial, I mean in the past tutorial, I showed you guys how to make it, how to turn this into a tool-based FPS system. Something like this. And we found a bug, which was that when you go ahead and die, when you reset your character, Uh, the walking animation does not work anymore. So, to fix this, it's very, very simple. All we have to do is to, instead of having a variable for the humanoid, we will remove that variable. And instead of that, we will remove this variable too. And we'll do if character.humanoid then. And in here, you want to do if character.humanoid don't move direction and then you want to do the same thing here you just want to remove this and if you go ahead and play the game now it should work perfectly so as you can see when we spawn in when we equip our pistol the walk animation does work and when we go ahead and reset our character it'll work and it doesn't so let's see how we can fix this it should be very simple to fix all we have to do is to well find a fix to it so if character dot humanoid then if character dot humanoid don't move direction dot okay so the way we're gonna fix this is by just having a variable to check if the character and I think that should be it. Oh, in here, we gotta do this. If character dot humanoid dot health dot, uh, is greater than zero, then we're gonna equip, we're gonna position the model. So we're gonna see if this works. So it does work when we equip it. When we unequip it, everything works fine. But when we go ahead and reset our character. And nothing works. This is pretty simple to fix, I think. Oh. Yes. Simple. So, if, oh, if plr dot character. Sorry. So, if player dot character. And in here, you want to do if player dot character. And you want to do the same thing here. So if player dot character. And now if you go ahead and play the game, it should work perfectly. So as you can see, it's working. Now if I go ahead and reset my character, it should work. So. And as you can see, it works. So that's really cool. Now I'm going to show you guys how to make a crosshair and how to lock the player in first person. So. First things off is how to log the player in first person. That's very, very simple. You just want to go to starter player and you want to go to the max zoom distance and set that to zero and it will automatically be set to 0 0.5. And now if you go ahead and play the game, it should work. So as you can see, we are locked in first person. Now you might be wondering, how can I stop the game now? Well, just press Shift F5, and it should work. Now, I'm going to be showing you how to change the mouse cursor. So, that's very, very simple. All you have to do, if you go to the Dev Hub, there is something called uh, mouse dot mouse icon, I think it was called. Mouse dot icon. No, I think it was mouse dot icon, yes. So if you go here, there are a ton of uh, crosshairs slash icons that you can choose from. For me, I'm going to be choosing this one, for example. So let's copy the uh, copy this little link right here and go back to studio. Now we're going to have a variable for the player's mouse. So that's pretty simple. All we have to do is to, well, create a variable for the mouse. So local mouse 
is equal to player can get mouse. Now when they equip the tool, uh oh, I am on the wrong local script. So we're gonna put that here. So local mouse is equal to player on get mouse. Now when they equip the tool, what we're gonna be doing is setting the mouse icon to that. So mouse or actually we better do it here so mouse mouse icon or the icon is equal to and you want to change change it to that you can i'm going to be showing you how to make it an an id based so it looks better and as you can see this is not really working so we'll try to fix that i think uh yes so we're gonna try to use this instead and we're gonna put an id so i want to try it with a with a random um image id so let's go ahead or literally just use a super super happy face with some random id and we're gonna paste in the id of that and by the way, to bring up the ID, you just gotta right click on the image and set the ID. So when we equip it, as you can see, it works. But that's kind of creepy, so we're gonna change that. Just look for a uh, crosshair. And we'll look for it. So I think I'm going to use just a random one. Maybe this small red one or this one and see how it turns out so i'm going to paste in the id and see if it works so when we equip the tool it changes the crosshair that's very cool now i'm going to be showing you how to make it so that when they unequip the tool it will be back to the default crosshair so to do that you just gotta set it to well the default crosshair or actually i don't think we're gonna need that right now uh so yeah, uh, what we're going to be doing right now is making a recall system, or at least starting to work on a recall system. So what we're going to do is, in here, when we position the model, or actually, we will create a function right here, function recoil, and we will do mouse dot button one down colon connect recoil now what we're going to be doing is checking if the tool is equipped so if uh or yes if connection or if uh i think it was called equip connection is not equal to nil then uh what we're gonna be doing is print uh shot just to test if it works it probably should should so let's see so if we click it printed it and if we just do that it still prints it that's a problem but I'm pretty sure we're going to get this to work very, very easily. So we're just going to check. Hmm. Yeah, we just have to do if player dot care dot uh, back back on find first child script dot parent dot name then. And that should be working. So if you go ahead and play, play the game right now, nothing works. But that's pretty simple. Oh, I mean, play if character. So if uh, player dot character, I'll find first child that. Let's see if that works. So that seems to work, which is pretty cool. 
We're gonna stop the game and see if this works. For some reason, I uh, am um, crashing. Uh, why did it start the two player server? I don't want that to happen. But never mind. So instead of just printing that the player shot, we will actually do something. So we'll add the recoil. So we will put a sin. So local sin is equal to uh, math dot sin, and we're gonna take the current time, and we're gonna multiply it by recoil sp speed, and we're gonna divide it by recoil size. So basically, what we did here. So we're gonna have some variables right here. So local recoil size speed is equal to something like three, or maybe ten, and then local recoil size and we're gonna set that to something like four so the bigger it is the smaller it is so what, what i'm gonna do is cf is equal to and we'll set it to cf lerp and cframe.new and you want to basically copy all of this just copy all of this uh, and paste it right here and but instead of this we will change the y to basically stay the y so we're not go we're going to remove this plus cause but instead of this we're gonna add we're gonna remove this too and in the z axis i'm pretty sure it's the z let, let me recheck so yeah it probably is the z axis yes or actually let me change something so if i change this to yes it, it is it is never mind so plus sin and let's see if that works uh it's loading and for some reason it's taking ages to, to load well that's not really a problem so we'll just replay the game and see if this works so we are here we'll play this we'll shoot and as you can see it did shoot but it's very 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 subtle so to fix this it's very simple um hmm yes we just have to mess around with these settings so we're gonna change the recoil speed to a bigger number something like uh, i mean a smaller number something like five and the recoil size to something like one and you'll see how big it will look It's going to do that bug again, so I'm going to rejoin. And as you can see, we kind of have a recoil. I'm not sure if we can call that a recoil, but maybe. So what we're going to be doing now is making it so that... I mean, we just we just got to mess around with these settings, but I'm not going to bother doing that right now since this is just a tutorial and it will take too long. So we're gonna, we're gonna create a variable right here for if the player is shooting. So local is shooting. And we're gonna set that to false. Now, in here, we're gonna check. And is shooting or in here, we'll check if is shooting then. And in here, or actually, I'm going to do the same thing here. Uh, instead of that, I'm going to do it and is shooting. And when they click, we will set is shooting to true. So is shooting is equal to true. And then we're going to wait maybe around point two seconds. And is shooting is equal to false. Now let's see if this works and see how it looks.
Um, okay, so I know exactly how to fix this because in here we have to do if not. Uh, I mean, and not is shooting. And it should work. And now it's going to do that bug again, so I'm going to have to rejoin. And see how this looks. As you can see, the recall does work, but it's kind of buggy. I mean, I'm just going to keep it like that. Or I'm just going to move the entire is shooting thing. Uh, so we don't really need that right now. But what, what I'm going to do is change the recall speed to 5 or I'm just going to keep it like that or even make the recall bigger 0.5 and make this like 8 and what I will be doing is playing a shooting sound so inside of the audio library I'm gonna look for a gun and I will make sure to mute my desktop audio so I don't get copyrighted and I'll be back when I find a good audio. Okay, so I couldn't really find one since I basically couldn't... Uh... Oh, and now it's played, never mind. So I'm just going to get this one. And we'll put it inside of the gun. Inside of the view model gun. So what we're going to be doing now is basically playing the sound. So when they shoot, what we're going to be doing is uh, view model dot gun go and play. Or maybe I'll turn in this to shoot with cap with a capital C to prevent errors, and we're gonna paste that right here. And now, if you go ahead and play the game, it should work perfectly. So we're gonna have to rejoin again, and see how this looks. And as you can see, the recall does look pretty good right now, so I like it. And Uh, it plays the sound. And that looks pretty good. So I think this is going to be it for today's tutorial. If this helped, make sure to subscribe, like the video, share it with your friends, and I will see you all in the next tutorial. Bye!